Hey guys, Ryan Collector with Gun University, and in this second part of the How to Mount a Scope series, we're going to cover the tools that you can use to mount your scope. Now I'm going to show you some tools that you're going to need as a bare minimum, but I'm also going to show you some tools that I think are handy that make mounting a scope a whole lot simpler. In the last video, we covered getting the components for your scope besides the scope and the rifle, getting the base and getting the right rings and how to find those. But we now need a way to get them properly mounted and secured in place. The first thing you're gonna have to be doing when you mount your scope is putting your base on your receiver that's usually gonna use an Allen wrench or a Torx head Allen wrench of some sort. So at a bare minimum, you're gonna need the little Allen wrench that probably came with your base to mount this on here. This will work in the next video when we walk through how to mount this, I will show you how I use these and some tricks I have to not over torque these screws to break them or to do anything wrong. But best case scenario is invest a little bit of money in a torque wrench. These are two options for torque wrenches I use. This one's a pretty straightforward, simple one. I can make adjustments on here and I can adjust the torque settings on here. These are inch pound torque wrenches. We're not putting a lot of torque here, they're inch pounds. So I can change these settings here on this one. Here's another torque wrench. This one's from Fix It Sticks. This is really handy. It can be pricey, but I think it's worth it if you're gonna take long range shooting seriously because this little kit can fit in your backpack or go out into the range if you need to make repairs or check on anything. And it's a little torque wrench built in. Again, I'll show you how I use these and how you can get away without them in the next video when we start setting it up. Another thing that I think is handy besides torque wrenches is some blue Loctite. Blue is the removable Loctite, it's not permanent. For example, when you're mounting your base on your receiver, I will Loctite my base onto my receiver. Some people don't like to do it, I do. Why? Well, if my scope is mounted on here and two years from now, that base comes loose, I'm not only not hitting my target because the scope is gonna be flopping around on the rifle, but it's a pain to fix because I have to take the scope off completely to get back to those screws. So when I get that base on, I want it on and I want it to stay. And with those little screws, we don't want to over torque them, remember, a little bit of blue Loctite goes a long way. Now when it comes to mounting the rings, same thing applies. You either need an Allen wrench that fits the rings, or if you have a mount like this, this is gonna be half inch nuts, you're gonna need either a socket that you can use with your torque wrench, or just a half inch wrench for those, or for the rings I'm gonna be using in the next video, we can use that same Allen wrench that came with it, or the torque wrenches. I also am gonna use Loctite on some of those screws, but not all of them. Make sure you watch that to see which ones we do. Now what you don't see here when it comes to mounting a scope is something that I think most of you think is required and I'm pretty against levels. Now one of the more important parts of mounting a scope to your rifle besides getting it on there to the right torque and then it doesn't fall off is making sure the scope is level on the rifle and I have seen countless examples of people sprinkling sniper voodoo on the scope and rifle and taking this long process and trying to level and oh no it's not I think I got it right and they go to the range and it's crooked and it's this never-ending process guys I have a trick that is going to make you level your scope like that it is so simple it's easy to do every single time and that is using this little tool right here it's a little scope leveling tool it's just two little pieces of metal there's a few companies that make these they're super super handy when I first did this video for the NSSF 10 years ago, I used a straight edge. They didn't have these. I think some companies listened and realized that it'd be better just to have a tool for it. Guys, when I show you how to use that tool, you're not gonna wanna use bubble levels again. And it sure beats trying to get the rifle perfectly level, trying to get the scope level, and doing all that. So, let's recap. At a bare minimum, you need either the Allen wrench or Torx head to get your base on, and you need whatever tool is gonna fit these, usually an Allen wrench or Torx head to get the rings around the scope, and either, an Allen wrench or a Torx head to get the rings on the base or a half inch wrench to get them on there if you're using a big Picatinny base. That's the bare minimum. Up from that, get yourself some of that blue Loctite and even better still, get yourself a torque wrench in inch pounds and get yourself this little scope leveling tool. And when you follow along with the next video, it's gonna make it so much easier.